everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to part four of how to build polis inside of Minecraft. And like always, if this is your first video you're showing up to, I'll have a link to the entire playlist in the description below for the polis build, and I've already done the Skeleton and Mirror HQ. So right now, after part three, we have finished up Office, Admin, and Specimen over here. And now for part four, I'd like to start off by first placing in the flooring, so our purple terracotta, for this entire area including this wall over here for laboratory. So actually, let's go ahead and put the wall in for laboratories. And then I'm gonna have you fill in this entire floor and over here with purple terracotta. So we're gonna swing back over here. This is where we left off in part three. I'm gonna come right over here and come one block in from our stone wall that's right here. So just come one block in and we're gonna take out some blue concrete and light blue terracotta. And then of course our gray concrete to cap it off. So just come your one block in, come down here and we're gonna place out our blue concrete, our two blue terracotta, and then we're also gonna place in our gray concrete. And now we're gonna count over that way towards storage over there with our blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now you can go ahead and fill in the rest of this wall. Once you filled in that wall, we're gonna come over here now and come out two blocks, one, and then one on an angle, two, and then we can go ahead and fill this up with our wall. And now we can go ahead and count over to storage once again with our blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and then go ahead and fill in the rest of your wall. Now, once we have this part of a laboratory's wall in place, we are now going to take out our purple terracotta and starting right from where our storage is right here, like that, we are now going to fill in this entire area. You shouldn't have any of this stuff here. Just fill everything in. Don't worry. I'm just keeping this for myself so we don't get lost when building that lava pit, but we're going to fill this whole area in all the way down to right there with purple terracotta. So I'll see you guys after you're done filling this entire area in. I highly recommend using the fill command. It would be a lot faster. But again, if you're scared of using that in case you break something, just go ahead and fill it in by hand. It shouldn't take too long. All right, guys, and I'm back. And as you can see, I just filled in the entire floor with my purple terracotta. And like I said at the beginning, do not worry about all of this stuff right here. This is just markers for myself to remember where everything goes, but everything should just look like a big purple floor for you well, a big purple terracotta floor for you so now what we're going to do is figure out where our lava pit is going to be going because this is going to be that main area right here which takes up pretty much this whole area and is very very tedious on putting in so we're going to come over here to this corner area where we left off at part three and we're just going to count over from this corner one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 and then you should have put your whole floor in just break this block right here and then from this block we're just going to break out that way 11 more blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and that's going to be the width of your lava pit when it goes underneath your bridge right here next up what we're going to do is now break out the entire layout of our little lava pit so we're going to come back over to this side and we're just going to break out that way one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna come down on an angle and break out two. One, two. Come down on an angle again and break out three. One, two, three. Come down again on an angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right now it should look something like this for you, minus the gray and all this stuff right here. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna come down on an angle once again. And we're gonna break out one, two, three, four, and five. Come down again. One, two. Turn to the left, break out this block right here. Come up, break out this one, this one. Then we're gonna break out three. One, two, three. Come up on an angle once again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn to the left, break out one, two, three, four, five. Then going back towards specimen right there, we're gonna break out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're gonna to turn to the left once again and go up towards that way, breaking out one, two, one, one, 
one. You know, I was going to keep breaking up, guys. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be a total of eight right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just wrap it right back up into there. So you should have this kind of looking pit area. Don't worry if you mess up any of the corners. It really doesn't matter. The only part that really matters is right over here where you enter. Well, when you exit. Uh, office over here because we want a little bit of space over here to walk you don't want it to be like all the way up against you know the side right here and have absolutely no space to walk right here so honestly if you messed up any little parts right here it doesn't really matter as long as you have it 12 wide right here for when it goes underneath the bridge that's pretty much the only spot that matters so now what so now what i want you to do is break out the entire inside of this area so you know let's go around breaking the entire inside out of your pit so now it should look something like this when you break it all out now if you did the exact same height i did from part one when i told you to raise it off the ground by eight blocks then you're absolutely fine if you did less than that then you know just work with the spacing you got and if you did it way up into the air again just do eight blocks and then add a floor to it that's all you need to do so basically basically <laughs> what we're going to do now is go around the whole outside of our little pit right here and we're going to bring it down our eight blocks so one and two three four five six seven and if you did it just like me it should be eight blocks from the ground like i said if you did it you know closer just try to get as much spacing as you can underneath if you did it way high up into the air just do your eight blocks and then you're going to also have to add in a floor after you do everything because then you your lava will just fall right to the ground and you don't want that so you're gonna have to put a floor in for the entire pit area when you put your lava in but now what i want you to do is go around the whole outside and come down eight blocks around this whole area coming all the way back here to the beginning so if you want to you know just put down your marker first on both sides so it starts there it starts there and now go around the whole thing bringing it down eight blocks all right guys and i'm back and this is what it should look like right now like i said if you did it closer to the ground you know just try to work with the space you have if you built it up into the air there's probably going to be a big hole right here for you so like i said you're now going to have to add in a floor to catch your lava so that's just a little bit of extra work for people that put it up higher into the air so now what we're going to actually do is find the other side over there because it will have an end cap over here at the end of the wall so what we're going to do is now come to where we have our two walls and we're just going to bring it right underneath where our map is so there's our bridge we're just going to bring it right to the other side where we can see that light gray concrete and then from here we're going to count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven blocks do the same thing on this side just bring your blocks going all the way down to this side and then once you reach this side of your wall go ahead and count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks. Now, what I want you to do is fill in all the way down again with your eight blocks. Once you have come down your eleven blocks, just place in one more row of blocks right down here. Because now we're going to take out a lava bucket and we're going to fill this entire area with lava once again if you know how to use the fill command i highly recommend just using the fill command it'll be a lot faster but also you can just place it in by hands but we're going to be placing lava in this entire area of our pit and like i said if you're above ground make sure you put in your floor so the lava doesn't fall down onto the world <laughs> so go ahead and just now fill up this whole area with lava all right guys so now this is what it should look like after we filled up the entire thing with lava now we got to add a few extra little rocks down here now i'm not gonna go crazy with this part because i kind of just did it randomly when i first did my entire polis map but what we're gonna do is just start right over here we're gonna take out our purple terracotta and right here at our first turn our first inter whatever <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to call it but we're just gonna come down three blocks one two three actually come down four and then we're just gonna bring this going all the way down into the lava like that and then we're gonna come down three blocks here one two three and bring this going all the way down into the lava like that oops i did not want to do that and then from here we're just gonna come down two blocks one two like that and then i just kept doing this kind of motion all the way around the entire thing so let's say right here we want to right where this one is we're just going to come down an extra one and bring this going all the way down to the lava come down an extra one here and bring it all the way up we just want to give it some definition we don't want it to look like this because this looks really really bad we kind of want to have some definition on each one so for this one let's just come right where this one is 
and bring this going down into the floor. And we're going to come over here to this one now and let's bring this one up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then how about we just bring it up three blocks like that. And then for this one over here, we can bring that up two right here, I guess. And then right here, we could bring it up three, actually bring up four and then two like that. That looks pretty good. And then for this one, we could just bring it up one, two, three. This one, we could just bring it up one. Like I said, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to follow exactly along with me. You just don't want it to look like this. I mean, look at this right here. And now look at this side by just adding a couple of little extra blocks at the bottom. Look at this. And look at that. This looks so much better by just adding a few extra blocks on some of the parts. Like, you know, come up a couple blocks there. And look at that. That For some reason, that just makes it look a hundred times better. We can add a few over here. Let's go like that. And then maybe another two like that. And then right here, we can just add in one, two here. You know, I'll, I'll change it out a little bit more later on. I'm going to, I'm going to want to add a few more extra blocks in. So that looks pretty good like that. There we go. I'm going to add a few things on these uh, solid walls, like right here and right here. Cause there's still too much like open here. I don't like that. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean when we actually get to it. But for right now, let's keep going around and adding just a few blocks on the corners just to make it look better so right here we can come up three two let's bring this one up four like that or five i think i just did right there <laughs> how about three right here one like that three here two there actually that's four there actually no four looks good there we go we're just adding a little bit of definition to each corner nothing crazy not going insane with it. We're just bringing a couple of blocks up just so it doesn't look stale. So, I mean, now look at it compared to before. I don't like this right here. I kind of want to bring it up like that. There we go. <laughs> now, that looks a lot better. So, now what we're going to do is just add a couple of more things in here. So, like I said, this wall right here looks pretty flat, and I kind of don't like that. So, let's come right here. I don't want it to be touching the bridge right here. So, let's come one block underneath the bridge and over, and we just bring a line down like this. There we go. And let's bring actually another line going all the way up next to it. One block down. And then right here, we can bring a couple blocks up. How about three blocks down like that? And then how about two blocks? Let's put one here. Let's bring this up three. Let's bring this one up two. Three right here and two there. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Like I said, we're just adding a little bit of extra things in and you really don't need to worry back about back here you won't really be able to see it from that far away or this side you shouldn't be able to see but if you want to add a couple of more things in like this you can absolutely go right down this line right here that's flat and add in a couple of more i just kind of want to stick to the area where people can see so like over here on this wall we can add in something right here as well so let's go right to the middle and how about we come up three blocks from the top one two three three blocks from the top like that and you know what? let's just bring another line going up right next to it and another one like that. How about we come over here and bring this three blocks down from that side. And then up in the middle, we can actually bring this right up to... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we can bring it up two like that. One like that. And one out. Uh, Sure, why not? Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring this up. One extra like that. Fine. Perfect. <laughs> I don't want to go absolutely crazy, but as you can see, this looks a lot better now than it did before so there is our lava pit if you want to add in more make it look a little bit better you're absolutely free to do that so what so what i'm actually going to do now is remove my little gray line right here that's going around my lava pit so now that we got the lava pit in we can actually go ahead and put in that little temperature gauge thing that's right here so what we're going to need is quartz slabs smooth quartz slabs stone brick walls red stained glass panes <laughs> iron bars item frames and light gray concrete so right here on this corner it should be three blocks in one two three Right here on this corner, we're going to put in that kind of diving board looking thing. So take out your quartz slabs. And we're going to place in three quartz slabs like that. Then we're going to place in two sets of smooth quartz slabs like that. And then we're going to put in quartz slabs once again. Smooth quartz slabs, quartz slabs, and smooth quartz slabs one more time. And that's going to be that little diving board thingy that's above our lava pit and then we can go ahead and put in our temperature gauge so next up just place in a stone brick wall place in a light gray concrete right above it item frame 
place in your red stain glass pane off the inside of the item frame and then iron bars on the side and that's going to be that little area done next up we can go ahead and add in our rocks which for our rocks we are going to need purple terracotta and top snow now just like this inside area i am not going to go crazy and make it look exactly the same as i did over there i i'll be going back and forth just trying to figure out where each individual block goes i just put in these markers here so i know where each rock goes because this is an exact location for a rock inside of the polis map itself so let's go ahead and start off right over here the area that leads over into office we're going to need purple terracotta and top snow we're just going to come over here to this corner and we're going to place in two blocks like this from the corner starting off our first rock so let's go ahead and actually place in we can place in it like this so if you want to just see a little top down view of it right here but we're going to go ahead and just place in our first rock here so let's just come out one two three four five six and then on the middle block right here, one, two, three, four, we'll place an extra block here. And then from this one, we're gonna count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come in and just place two right here. And then we can go up and make a three by three of blocks like this and one here. And now I gotta go ahead and change this out. There we go. And then right in this corner, we're gonna add an extra block here. And then two blocks in from this wall, one, two, three, four, two here. And that will start up our first rock. And now, like I said, you can kind of go crazy with this. It's completely up to you. This side right here is just going to be a little bit taller than this side over here. So, we're like I said, I'm not going to try to keep it similar. I'm going to kind of do it the way I did it when I first built it. Which I kind of just always went right from the middle. So, I'd bring up my middle. Like, let's say right here, I went up three blocks right here. So, the middle area has a bigger height to everywhere else. And then, let's say I went around it like this with a couple of blocks. Maybe up a block here. And then an extra block maybe right here like that. Just always try to keep like these middle areas that are, you know, bigger up higher than the rest of the other areas. I don't want to go. I'm going to be here for such a long time trying to figure out exactly how I put the rocks in before. So actually, no, yeah, that's fine. That's fine like that. So as you can see, this doesn't look too bad for something I just threw together. <laughs> if you want to look at the actual Among Us map, you're absolutely free to do that to see an exact way to put the rocks in. But honestly, like I said, I don't really think it matters all that much. So we're just going to come right to the middle. Let's come up our three blocks right here off the middle and then work our way around this. So let's place, how about an extra block, a few blocks there. Let's come up two blocks here. Uh, on this side, we can come down two blocks, uh, an extra block right here and honestly that's fine that that's fine <laughs> actually i think this one is too high let's go ahead and break that this that yeah that's fine <laughs> this one has to be taller than this one right here next up we can just take out our top snow and place our top snow on the top part of the rock don't go any further down just always put it on like this little top part of your rock like that so there's a few rocks right there nothing crazy we're not going absolutely crazy with this <laughs> next up from our window right here if we just come right here from this paint uh so if we just come right here from this blue stained glass and just count over one two three four we can start up on our next rock so one one two three one two go to the corner and place a few extra there so like always just come up in the middle a little bit higher than the other ones so one right here like that and we could just put one piece like that fine perfect <laughs> and then on this one is there snow on this one i'm not you know i'll just add a couple pieces of snow there we go and like that and you know what there we go <laughs> so there is another rock done now this one is not in the game actually this one wasn't in the game this one right here is but this one wasn't in the game i kind of added this in just to hide the screen on specimen so i just brought up a few rocks right here so on specimen you should have this screen showing on this side just bring up your purple terracotta just to hide it up like that we just want to hide up all of this right here and then what i did was i just brought down you know just go crazy with you don't have to <laughs> follow me exactly along with the rocks like i said i don't want to be in this video for absolutely forever putting these rocks in now this rock is actually in the game right here so we're just going to come right from this corner count over one and then count down three one two three place two here place four here and two here and then you know just place a couple extra on top with a little bit of snow on it like that there we go next up we're going to swing over here to place in a couple of more rocks so we're going to come here to the middle of these two windows and just place in one two three one on the top like that then we're going to come over here to these two windows right in the middle we're going to count down two placing in two blocks right here 
three blocks right here, block here, and then just place up a couple in the middle like that. And I believe this one actually has snow on it. Yes, it does. So we're going to place a couple pieces of snow just like that. Perfect. And now from this rock, we're just going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, and then count down two, one, two, adding in four blocks, four blocks, three, two, three, and two. As long as you get like the first part of the rock in, then you're free to just build it up however you like. So again, we're just going to bring it up a couple of blocks. Let's say right here, we're going to come up. Hmm. I don't, I don't think this one was that tall. So I'm going to, yeah, let's just bring it up to two like that there. One extra down here. One like that. Bring this one up over here and there. I kind of don't like the way this looks right here. I don't really remember how I did this. Song. You know, let's just add an extra rock like that. Perfect. That's fine. Let's go ahead and add in our snow up here. Our snow up on this part of the rock. There we go. That looks absolutely fine. Next up, we could swing over to here. Take out your purple terracotta once again. And then from this corner, just count over one, two, three, four blocks. And then come down one and place in three, four, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one block in from here. We're going to add in an extra. And then starting from over here, we're going to place in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Four again. Four again. And four again. And then right here in the middle. Now, this one's a lot taller, I believe. So I'm actually going to bring this one up four blocks. One, two, three. And, you know, let's just bring up three, actually. Bring it up three in the whole entire middle like that. And then we can just place, you know, two around this side. Two around this side. Two around here. And two around here like that. Fine. Perfect. <laughs> then right here in the middle, we could come up one, two. I don't want to make it taller than that one right there. So let's just come up two right here. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and make a two by two like that. And then we can just bring it down over here on this side. How about one here and one there like that? Perfect. Take out our snow and place our snow on the top part. Right there, right there. Place a few there. Place a few here. How about one right there as well? And one right here. Fine. Done. <laughs> and now for the next rock we're actually going to come to the corner like i said i'm just trying to get in the, the the smaller parts of the rock and then you guys can try to follow along when i'm placing them in like this i know it's going to be a little harder this one oh i do not want to do that one <laughs> but we're going to count over from this corner one two three four blocks placing in three three and two and then this one we can just you know bring it up maybe uh, an extra one like you know that's fine just bring it up one more like that in the middle and then we're gonna just place snow on top of it like that then over here we're just gonna count over two from the wall one two come down and place one two three four we can place in two right here one right here and then let's just bring it up two like that and place snow on top of it next up just come down two blocks from here one two placing in two blocks then we can go that way one two three four five six seven blocks Come down, place five. One, two, three, four, five. Come to the other side. And then come in one, placing in five. One, two, three, four, five. Double it down. And then place in four like that. And that should be the main part of your rock. And now again, just go ahead and build up the rock. So let's say right here we want to place in two like that. Actually, you know what? Two like this. There we go. I kind of like that better. And then we can come in one, two, three. We got to make this middle area. Like I said, we always make the middle area a little bit bigger than the rest. So let's go ahead. Once we come in our four blocks like that, we can go ahead and just place in a couple more like this. And I want to bring this area up right here. I want it to be taller than all of the other areas on this rock. So actually, I might be able to bring this up one more like that. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> just bring it up so it's a little bit taller than all the other areas. Let's bring that side up one here. Uh, we could bring this side right here up to two there and you know what that's fine that's absolutely fine just take out your snow now and place your snow on the top areas of the rocks just kind of go crazy with it there we go that's fine <laughs> oh you know what? actually there we go that's fine. and you know what? actually I want to place in some snow there there we go <laughs> and now we can swing over here and right from here we can just count over Three blocks from this middle one right here. So just count over three. One, two, three. Placing in a couple of blocks right here and one in the middle. There's no snow on top of that one. You know, I'm going to worry about this behemoth rock a little bit 
later on. I really don't feel like putting that in right now. <laughs> Even though it really doesn't matter. But uh, let's go ahead and do this one right here that's kind of off to the side. So right from our little control panel thingy, we're going to go ahead and count over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Starting from there. And place two here. Three here. Two. And then one on the corner. And then we can just bring this up. You know, this one doesn't have any snow on it. So just bring it up a little bit like that there we go that's fine <laughs> that one has no snow on it and that should be all the rocks for this area yes and you know what let's just go ahead and get this one out of the way I... <laughs> let's just get it out of the way so we're gonna come right over here to this corner of our wall and we're just gonna count over one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven placing a block here and then we're gonna go up that way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one blocks just like that then we're just gonna come in a block placing blocks going all the way down one block in from this side then just come in two blocks placing blocks go all the way down two blocks from this side then we're just going to come in one two three four five six blocks placing in five one two three four five and then from this side just come in one block and place in two then we're swinging to this side and just place blocks one in from the end all the way down then we're going to come in two again placing blocks all the way down come in two right here placing two then we're going to come over three blocks, one, two, three, placing in three and one in the middle. Then we can come to this side, just come over three blocks, one, two, skip one, and place a block like that. And that's going to be the starting point of this huge rock right here. If you want to go ahead and just skip this part now and just build whatever one you want, you're absolutely free to do that. There's just one thing with this one you should know is this side right here, the left-hand side, is taller than the right. It goes up, then it goes down a little bit up again and then go straight down on the right hand side so what i mean is let's go ahead and just try to put in a little indication let's let's say right here we come up two blocks here and then we'll come up uh one two let's just come up two more blocks like that and you know what? let's just keep that going let's go up two blocks again and then let's just come up how about one block here so this will be the highest point of this side of the rock right here and then let's say we want to just bring it down right here and let's go over three blocks. One, two, three. Let's come down another one right here. This is how I did it when I first did it over there. I kind of just gave myself uh, something to work with in the middle. And then I went off of that. So we'll come down one there. And it does dip down and then goes back up for a little bit. So let's just come down one block since it is Minecraft. We'll come down one block like that. And then let's just come over three more blocks. One, two, three. Actually, let's come over four blocks. And then it will go up here. Because it goes from the highest point down, back up a little bit. And now we just got to kind of go straight down from here. So we're going to come down one block here. Let's come down another block here. And then we'll bring it down. How about two blocks here? We'll come over. And then it goes up a little bit more here. And then just go straight down to the floor. So that's what I'm looking at. I know it looks weird. But this is how I did it when I first did it. I gave myself a little indication of the height for the middle. And then I went off of that. So now all you have to do is basically bring it out so it doesn't look well like this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want it looking like this. So let's say we want to bring up some, you know, rocks here. Some blocks right here like that. And we'll bring it up a little bit more like this. And then we could come out and then just bring this going all the way down. Come up all the way over like that. Then we can just bring this down. Like that bring it up and bring this all the way in and you know what i'm gonna keep that one really thin for the ending right there and then for here kind of you know what that's fine that's fine i'm not gonna go crazy <laughs> so now we could uh let's say bring it up three blocks here like this one block over like that and let's bring this more in right here i want to bring this one like going all the way down into the floor and then we can just bring, you know, a couple blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks like that. Uh, how about we put one right here in the middle? Bring this one up two. Bring this one up one, meaning we have to add a couple more blocks in right here. And you know what? That doesn't look bad. We can, like I said in the beginning, once you got that middle part down, you can go ahead and just work from there and make it look somewhat decent. So this doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look exactly the same as my other one, but it doesn't look horrible. So now we just got to go to the other side now and pretty much 
do the same exact thing we can just like you could just duplicate exactly what you did on that side because technically you can't see this side of the rock so i think i came up right here to that height yep and then i brought this one up an extra one right there yep and then two blocks out here i'm just trying to follow right along with how i did it on that side so then i came out three blocks there yep and then i came up one i brought this over to there and then we came down a block came down two blocks here and then we just brought this right over to there yep there we go perfect and then so you know what i'm just gonna skip through the video i'm just gonna duplicate this side on this side guys and i'm back and I actually didn't duplicate i kind of just made it <laughs> i didn't go crazy but you can't see this side anyway but there we go there's our big rock <laughs> so now we're just going to take out our top snow and we're going to place our top snow on the highest point of our rock so we're going to put some like let's say up here and you can actually add in a couple of extra pieces of top snow to give it some uh depth if you want to but let's go ahead and just place in snow along the whole like right here since there's so much area to work with the snow you can like you know go like this and make the snow kind of go down on a you, you you know what i'm saying <laughs> so let's just add a couple snow up here like that there we go. Actually, that's too much. There we go. That's a lot better. I like that. There we go. And we can add a couple pieces of snow down here. There we go. A couple pieces right here. There. Add a little depth to it as well. And perfect done. There's our big rock. <laughs> All right, so seeing that it took me probably around 30 minutes to show how to do all this, I really didn't think it was going to take me that long, but <laughs> I got pretty tedious with those rocks right there. So, you know, what? I think I'm going to keep this entire part, this entire part of this polis map, the outside area. So we're going to finish up over there. We're going to finish this side here. And then I'm also going to finish up doing this whole area right here. And then hopefully in the next part, which will hopefully be the last part, we'll do lab spaceship and the vents and then we will be completely done so let's go ahead and just finish the outside area get it done with so then we don't have to think about it until we put the vents in so we're going to come back over here to the right hand side where we put our little laboratory wall in and we're going to add in a little bit of top snow our snowman and a pylon over here so first things first we're going to start off right from here and we're going to place in snow going all the way down that way. You know what? Actually, I think it'll be a lot easier if I start from right here. So come to this corner and we're gonna count over six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually counting seven. Seven blocks and we're gonna place top snow going down five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna come down one, placing in two. Come down one, placing in three. Come down one, placing in four. And then we're gonna come down one, Placing in, I'd say about eight, I believe it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see from this angle. Yep, that looks absolutely fine. Next up, what we're going to do is come from this one, come down one, come over one, come down one again, back in one, back over one, up one yet again, down one, over one. Up one yet again. Down one. And then over two. One, two. And then we're going to go all the way up on an angle until we reach this part of our rock right here. So just go all the way up on an angle until we reach right here. And then we're just going to bring this right into here. Now, just like when we did the other snow parts out there and over there, you don't have to go crazy with this. It does not matter that much. You just have to have kind of like an angle on your snow going down right here and then just wrapping it all the way up into your building no one's gonna play your game on your map after you built this and i don't think they're gonna care about how you place the snow and i think they're gonna be more amazed about how you built the entire polis map so go ahead and fill in this entire area so right now you should be looking at something like this so now it's time to build one of our little astronaut snowmen over here like we built in the last part so now what we're going to need are pistons Smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, armor stands, skeleton skulls, rails, mine carts, and a lever. So now we're going to come over here to this corner. And we're just going to go ahead, break this top snow, and place an armor stand facing backwards. Put the arms on the side if you're on bedrock with a skeleton skull inside of it. 
Next, come right over here to the right-hand side. We're actually going to have to break out a few blocks because we have to place in our rail. But we're going to break down a block just like we did all the other times. Place a block underneath our skeleton. And then we're going to go ahead and place in a block here. And then place in our two rails. Next, place your minecart in. Place in your armor stand facing towards the other armor stand. Arms down on the side from bedrock. And a skeleton skull inside of the armor stand. Then you can just go ahead and push your minecart down there break your rails and then go ahead and place in your wall back just like that next take out your smooth quartz block place it right above your skeleton skull smooth quartz there smart bleh, quartz slab i know i'm going a little fast but guys i've already showed how to build this astronaut like three times already <laughs> place in your piston above it send power to it place a block above that and send power to it once again breaking this block now all you have to do is just move that mine cart with an armor stand over just a tiny bit to make the backpack so just go ahead and push your minecart over until you can see the head of your skeleton. That's not the perfect one I want to get. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. That's the one I want. So you just want to see the back of the skeleton head a little bit just so it makes that little backpack. Now we can go ahead and place in our blocks once again. And now we're going to need a glass block. So let me just go over here and quickly get a glass block. Go ahead and place in your glass block above it. Place in your piston, place in your lever, send power to it, place in your glass block again, send power to it, place in your glass block again, send power to it, go ahead and break these, and then place your top snow back on top of it, and that will make your little astronaut. Next up, we have to build our pylon, so we're going to need prismarine walls, light blue concrete, item frames, armor stands, levers, and pistons. So from here, what we're going to do is just come out three blocks from our snowman. One, two, three. And actually right here is where the vent's going to be going as well. So if you want to break out that block, it's just three blocks from your astronaut snowman. And then we're going to go three blocks out this way. One, two, three. And this is where your pylon's going to be going. So first things first, place in your arm stand, arm down on the side. Place a block right above it. We're just building the same thing we've built plenty of times already. Place in your arm stand, break the block. Place in your arm stand, that. Go ahead and break the block and then one more time armor stand arms down aside break the block next up place in your light blue concrete prismarine wall we can go ahead and break these blocks now place in your piston facing down into your prismarine wall and then send power to it place another block send power to it break all of this next up we can go ahead and break this top snow place an item frame place the top snow back here and now we're going to need a snow block for right here there we go and that's going to be the pylon task completely done and that's going to be that area done so now we're going to come over here and we're now going to fill in this area <laughs> yet again we're going to be filling in another area with our purple terracotta now the easiest way to do this is come over here by admin and we're going to count in our two blocks one two place a block here place two blocks here and then just place you know three blocks out like that to make an angle and now what you want to do is just bring this line going all the way down here you don't need to count this out because all you have to do is match it up over to where your lava is it should match up perfectly and you know what i never changed out these blocks here it should match up perfectly to where the last time you placed in your lava so go ahead and take out now your, you know your purple terracotta and just fill in this entire area just bring it right from your lava pit all the way down and connect it in to where we just placed these three blocks over here. So fill it all in. All right, guys, in the back, I just went ahead and filled in this whole area. So now it's time to add in a couple of more top snow, a couple more rocks, and then there's also going to be four astronaut snowmen hanging around a dead astronaut snowman. So that's actually one of my favorite parts of Polis is this one little area where there's just like three snowmen like, hey, did you kill this guy? <laughs> so basically what we're going to do is take out our top snow and come to this corner. So we're looking at it from here. We can see our glass to this hallway. We're going to come right down to this corner and we're going to come out one block and we're just going to bring our top snow all the way down. Just keep going all the way down to that piece of glass right there stop then we're going to come down one and then we're going to come out three one two three then we're going to go back in three come down one and then we're going to bring this out one well actually i should go like this one two three four then we're going to come up three one two three come up three one two three come up three one two three it should hit the corner of this pipe right here and then three more one two three then we're going to swing back over here and we're going to come down one right here 
and then one to the side. So now there should be a total of four here. And then from here, we're going to come down four. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to come over and down over that way, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to come down one and then back that way, two. One, two. Swing back over here and now make this one five blocks long. So one, two, three, and that should make it a total of five. And now we're going to come back in and just go all the way down until we are one block away from this wall. And then we're going to come down one and then just swing it right over into there. Just like that. And now what I want you to do is just fill in this whole entire area. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, you don't have to go crazy with this. Just if you want to make it somewhat even, just make sure this part of the snow touches that uh, brown concrete block right there. Now just go ahead and fill in this entire area with your top snow. So once you got your top snow in, we can go ahead and start building four of those snowman astronauts once again. So we're going to get the... So let's get the starting point for the first snowman, and then we'll put in all the starting points for the other ones because we have to build four of these guys. So we're gonna come right here to where our glass is, one block in, and we're gonna count over seven blocks that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where your first snowman is gonna be going. So we're gonna place our armor stand facing away from admin, arms down on the side, and then skeleton skull. Nope, I did not want to do that. Arms on the side and skeleton skull like that. Now what I want you to do is come down a block from this one. And then we're going to go over two blocks that way. One, two, break it. Armor stand, arms on the side, and skeleton skull here. And now from this one, we're going to come down two blocks from here. One, two, and then back over one right here. And this is where the next armor stand is going to be going. Like that. There we go. So that's going to be all three of your snowmen set up. And now for the fourth one, which is going to be all the way over there, you're going to count from this armor stand right here six blocks that way so one two three four five six break the block place in your armor stand backwards away from all the other ones and skeleton skull on top of it so now that we know exactly where all of our armor stands are going to be going it's time to build four of those snowmen so let's go ahead and just you know break out the blocks right next to them then we have to go underneath them and place in a block underneath each armor stand like that come back up here Block here, block here, block here. We're going to have to place in our rails now. So a rail here, a rail here, and a rail right here. Then we can go ahead and place in our minecarts. Next up, place an armor stand above your minecarts facing towards the um, other armor stands. And then make sure you put your arms down on the side if you're on bedrock. And then a skeleton skull. Same thing here. Armor stand. Skeleton skull. And once again, armor stand. Like that. And skeleton skull inside of that. We can go ahead and break these blocks now. There we go. And now we just got to push our minecarts into place. Go ahead and break our rails. Go. And now we can go ahead and place in all of our snowmen, which you already know what to do. Just place in your quartz blocks, stairs, and then slab. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through this part. Just do your piston. Push them down inside of your armor stands. And I'm back. I just went ahead and put in my snowman. And now what we're going to do is, just, you know, break out the block, go in third person, and make sure to push our minecart over so we can see that skeleton skull's head. Perfect. And then for this one, we'll come over here and do it on this side. So let's just push. Oh, that was way too much. <laughs> and push that back in. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And now again, right here, third person, break it, and then just push that minecart over till you could see the skeleton skulls head there we go now we can go ahead and just fill in our floor now and then last but not least take out your glass blocks place it in right above it and then go ahead and push your glass blocks down into that hole and there are all three of those snowman astronauts done so now we just got to do the same thing right here again i'm just gonna skip through it because you've seen me do this plenty of times now that we have all four of our snowmen in place we can go ahead and just add one more thing right in front of this one that's facing towards the other three you're just going to come over three blocks one two three and we're going to take out some snow and a skeleton skull so we're going to place a piece of snow here break this block break this block place a piece of snow here and a skeleton skull here and that's going to be the dead astronaut snowman on the floor and that's going to be all four of them and i absolutely love this part of polis right here this looks hilarious <laughs> what did i do <laughs> so that's that part done 
Next up, it's time to build up some of the rocks. So we're going to come over here to where Specimen is. And right off the corner, we're just going to count down three. One, two, three. And place in two by two blocks. And one here. And one up like that. And there's no snow on top of this one. Then we're going to come over here to this second window. And we're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six. And place in three blocks like that. Two right here. And one in the middle. Again, there's no snow on top of this one. And now for this big one right here, we're going to come right to the corner. And we're going to count down three. One, two, three, well, four. And then come out four blocks to the right. So one, two, three, four. Place three right here. And then starting right from here, we're going to count over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to come in three and count over four. And place one like that. And now we're going to come up right here. One block. And then right next to it, we're going to make a two by two of blocks. And then right here, we're going to come up one block like that. Place a block here. And now just take out your snow and place snow on top of it all. You won't really be able to see this one, but there is that rock completely done. Next up, we have to swing all the way over here and place in these rocks right here. So right next to where your lava pit is, just come out one block from the corner, one up and place in four. Place in two right here. And then place in three like this. And there won't be any snow on top of this one. Then three blocks from this one, we're going to place in four. Four again. Three. Four. Then two. Then right here, we're going to come up one here. Here. Then we're going to come up two here. Two here. Two here. Then we're going to come down one here and here like that. And then just go ahead and place snow on top of all these top areas like that and that's going to be that rock done next up from here we're going to count over one two three four five placing in one four next to it and then four down then we're just going to place two right here and then don't place any snow on top of it then from this wall right here we're just going to count over one two three four five six seven eight come down one placing two three and then one on both sides then we're just going to place in three blocks like this. One, two, three, with snow on top of it. And that's going to be those rocks completely done. And that will be this whole corner completely done. Next up, we're actually going to have to build up part of Laboratory's wall once again for this side of the floor. So let's go ahead and take out our blocks for Laboratory's wall. We're going to need blue concrete, light blue, and gray concrete. So once again, we're going to follow along right there. It's just going to be one block out from the stone. Take out your blue concrete. And we're going to count over one two three four five six and then going up that way we're going to count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and go ahead and build up your wall once you have your wall in place we're going to come down to the corner and we're going to count over one two three four five blocks and starting from here we're going to come out two Come down one, come down one, and then just go ahead and wrap it right over into where your lava pit starts. So go ahead and fill this whole area in with your purple terracotta. Once you have this area placed in, we can go ahead and start up on some more of these rocks. So right here, right off one block from the end of our lava pit, we're just going to come up one and place in our three blocks like this. Then we're going to come up three, over three, and one in the middle, and then two on this side. Now, this one's super easy. We just got to place two blocks here and one block here like that. And that's going to be that rock completely done. Next up for this one, we're just going to count over one, two, three, four, five. Come down one and make a three by three with a block here and a block here. And then we're just going to make a T-shape on top with snow on top of it. And that's going to be that rock completely done. And now for this last one, right off the corner of labs, we're going to place in three four four again come back in and place another two set of four then we're going to come up three right here one two three and then we're going to come up two one two one two one two like that come down one here here and here like that and then go ahead and just place snow right along all of these blocks like that and that's going to be that rock completely done and this whole outside area done now to get started up on this area we're gonna have to build out labs walls once again to up into that corner right over there <laughs> basically up into this corner 
right here. So come back down here to where your labs starts off right here. And we're just going to come out one block to the side, filling it all in. And then fill in this entire area next to it with your gray concrete. Now, just like all the other areas, there's going to be a five wide entrance. So we're going to come over our five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then up one on the sixth block, making it a five wide entrance. Then we're going to bring this up our five blocks. And then we're going to take out our blue concrete once again, come over two, one, two. Then going back into labs, that way we're going to count out one, two, three, four. Take out your gray concrete, place it in once again, and we can go ahead and fill in this wall. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one over, and then fill in the wall. Now, once again, we're going to have to come over our five blocks for our entrance. One, two, three, four, five, and then up one on the six. And then from here, we're going to take out our blue concrete once again and count over one, two, three, four, five. Turn to the left and count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And stop right there. Go ahead and fill in your wall. And now we can fill in the floor once we're done with this with our purple terracotta. So now what we're going to do is build the whole outline for where it goes up for our ship. Back over and in. And then we're going to fill in the entire area with purple terracotta out here. So I can't stress this enough. <laughs> just pay attention. It's all right if you mess up a little bit over here. The ship is just going to be going on top of this part. So no one's really going to notice anything over here. So you don't have to be very, very tedious with this part. So just take out your purple terracotta. And starting from the corner we stopped at for labs, we're going to take it. We're going to come out a block right here. One. This is just my marker. So I can just count it out and it'll be a lot easier for me. So we're just going to come out one block from that corner. And then going towards electrical and all that good stuff, we're going to count out with our purple terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you mess up a little bit. The ship is going to be going on here. You won't notice it. You won't notice if you mess it up a little bit. Next up, we're going to come up one and count over two. One, two, up one, up one again. Then we're going to turn to the right and we're going to count over two now. One, two, down, one, two, and then two again. One, two, just follow right along with my gray marker I have here. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, two, one. And then we're going to turn to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Sorry, I had to sneeze there for a second. <laughs> twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Next up, turn to the left. One, one, two. It should be exactly the same as that side. Just give me heads up. It's going to be exactly the same as that side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, two. And this is where it's actually going to change right down here because this is going to be a little bit different from uh, the other side over there. One, two, three. One, two, one. Then we're going to turn to the right again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then just bring it right into the wall. Like I said, you can mess it up here. It's, <laughs> it's really not going to matter. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my gray here that I just had as a marker. And then what I want you to do is now fill in all of this with your purple terracotta. Actually, before you fill this in with all your purple terracotta, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the magenta walkway here. Because there's no point in uh, putting all that in and then having to remove a pretty good handful of it. <laughs> just because we didn't put in the walkway over here. So what we're going to do is just take out our magenta terracotta. Now, this is the only walkway that is not going to line up perfectly with the door. So we're actually going to start off over here at electrical and we're going to break out one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. As you can see, it does not line up on this side and this side. It's one off from each side. 
So now what we can do is just break out this little area that we already put in. Once you have broken out this area, just take your magenta and bring it all the way down to right at the end of storage. So bring it all the way down right till you reach the end of storage right here and just stop for now. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then what I want you to do is fill in the entire area with your magenta terracotta. There we go. Once we have this little area in place, we're actually going to come over here to the entrance of laboratories, taking out our magenta once again. And this one is going to be off just like electricals is. We're going to start right here from the middle block. And we're going to bring it over six blocks from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be one off on this side. Then we're going to come in one and come over six. Again, we're going to come in one and over six until it matches up with this one right over here. Come in one again until it matches up with this one. One more time over our six. And there we go. Now it matches up and just go ahead and connect them together. And there we go. Now, <laughs> now we can go ahead and fill in this entire area with our purple terracotta. And you know what? Actually, no, we cannot. I forgot. We actually have to bring this out three blocks right here. I completely forgot. I am sorry. <laughs> right here, you got to come out three. One, so one, two, three, and then bring it up on your angle. I was wondering why this this uh, walked away looked so thin right here. It's because you have to come out three here and then up like that. Now go ahead and fill in everything. All right, guys, and I'm back. I just filled in this entire area. Next up, what I want you to do is take out some iron bars. And right from uh, this corner of our laboratories, we're going to bring iron bars going all the way down one block out from the other wall that's over there. So there's the other wall. We're just going to come one block out and then wrap it all the way down to that wall over there. And then just go ahead and bring it up three times and then put cobwebs on top of it to make it look like barbed wire. And now before we end this video, I want to go ahead and make the things that you go to when meltdown starts up. So to do that, we're just going to come over here to where our iron bars are. I'm going to count over one block and place in three gray carpet like this. Now for the whole little area that goes up right here, we're going to need smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz slabs, and acacia trap doors. So to start things off, you're going to place in three slabs upside down and then three on top of it. And we're going to go up 12 blocks to the left with our slabs and our quartz blocks. So that's one already. We place down. That's one two, then two slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to do that all the way up again two more times just follow right along with the blocks you've already placed once you have your walkway going all the way up in we're going to come all the way to the top and we're going to place a block right in the middle and come out two to the left and two to the right so that'll make a total of five blocks and i want you to make a five by five square so we already did five here so one two three four and then we're just going to bring it down and connect it right in making a five by five square perfect five by five and then on every side just going to come in and place in three blocks two three one two three one two three like that and then go ahead and fill in the rest with your smooth quartz next up we're going to come underneath our staircase and starting right from here we're going to place in slabs going right up the middle all the way to the top right there next up we're going to take out our smooth quartz blocks and we're going to come right here and right where those three blocks are on each side, we're going to make a three by three square. So one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we're going to bring this down like this. Next up, take out your slabs. And we're going to place in slabs going all the way around, making another square. And then place a block right in the middle. So it looks something like this. Trying to give a better angle so you guys could see it. There we go. Now we're going to take out our acacia trap doors. And starting from this slab right here, we're going to place an acacia trap door. And go ahead and open it up. And then we're going to place one right above another one. Open it up. And then go all the way up like that. So there should always be an acacia trap door next to a slab. And there should always be one above a full block. 
So here's a full block right here. So block here. Acacia, open it up. Acacia door right next to that one. There we go. All the way up like that. Now, once you get to this top one right here, stop. Because on this one, the Acacia trap door is going to go on top of it. And then you're going to flip it open. And do the same thing on this side. Flip it open. And now you're going to do the same thing. There will always be a trap door next to the slabs. So they will always be right next to your slab. And then the other ones will always be right above the full block. Now what we're going to do is come to these ones. And on every single corner one right here, you're going to put a block. And then place in two trap doors off that block. Open them up and then break the block. And do that on every corner right here. Same thing. Block right here. Trap door, trap door. Oh, I did not place that one in right. Place it off the block. Open them up. Break the block. Same thing on this corner. Block. Trap door, trap door. Break it. Open them up. Block. Trap door, trap door. Open them up. Break the block. And then on these ones, you're always going to place them off the block themselves and open them up. So off the block here. Off the block here. Open them up. Off the block, open it up. Off the block, open it up. And now for the ones on the end, same thing that we did over there. Place your full blocks here. And place in three doors. Open them up and break them. Three trap doors. Open them up. Break the blocks. And last but not least, three blocks. Trap doors. Open them up. And there we go. That's going to be the walkway going up to the meltdown. Now, the items you will need for the reactor for when you are trying to stop the meltdown are going to be prismarine brick slabs, light gray concrete, beacons, a light blue stained glass, sea lanterns, gray concrete, smooth stone slabs, and warped buttons. So to start it off, we're going to come right here to the front, and we're just going to count up three blocks. One, two, three, and we're going to place in a prismarine slab right here. Then right here, we're going to place in a three by two of our light gray concrete and then one right up here because you want to be able to hide behind this thing and then right here at the front we're going to place in our beacon and now what i want you to do is wrap this going all the way around your beacon and filling it all the way up until you reach the top like that and then right here we're going to place in just two more blocks i just wanted to leave a little area open so in case you wanted to come back here and hide from an imposter next up we're going to take out our prismarine slabs once again and place one here and one here. Then from here, right off the middle, we're going to place in three sea lanterns and three light blue stained glass blocks. Next up, take out your gray concrete and place in three gray concrete here and three gray concrete here. And then for the rest of this area, fill it up with your light gray concrete. Then right here on all four of these sides, we're going to place in slabs. So take out your smooth slabs and place one here, 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 and here. Next up, take out your gray concrete. Once again, your light gray concrete. And we're going to bring this up four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. And do that on every single side. Like that. There we go. And then place a slab on top of these. Then we're going to place in a light gray right in the middle. Slab. Take out your warp buttons and place a warp button here, here, and here. Come to this side. Do the same thing. Here, here, and here. And then one off of this side like this and that's going to be one whole reactor done well the right reactor done on polis now it is time to build the left one and you can guess it it's the exact same thing 12 blocks up make that little circle make the reactor and we will be completely done so we're going to swing over here and now this one is actually going to start right off of this block right here so when it comes up our one two three four five and then we'll go over two Go over two, go over two. Once you reach the one that goes over four, right here, it's going to start right off of this one. It will always start off the one that is four blocks long. So now we're just going to come up our 12 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 just make sure you count it out again make sure you get the 12 blocks you want it to be the exact same height 
as the one over there. Now we're going to go ahead and just double down on all of these blocks. Once you got in your walkway, we're going to come back up here and place in our five blocks. So two this way, two this way, and then we're going to make a five by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Make our five by five square. Then we're going to come out three on all sides. Then we're going to go back down here, take out our slabs and go right up the middle with slabs till we reach that top right there. Then we're going to take out our quartz blocks once again and come out three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to fill this in. Take out our slabs and make a three by three. And then place a full block right in the middle. Now we're going to take out our acacia trap doors, which I forgot to take. So I'm just going to fly over here and get them real quick. Get my acacia trap doors. And it's time to place in our acacia trap door. So just like before, there will always be an acacia trap door right next to the slabs. So let's just go right up the side with the slabs. Like that. There we go. And then there will always be one right above a full block. So just place them in. And then go ahead and break your blocks. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go right through this side. Because you don't need to see me do it again. But just do the same exact thing once again. There we go. And just like before, we're going to place the ones up here on the insides. Well, yeah, yeah. On the insides first. And then what I did was I put my blocks up on these corners. And then we're going to put our trap doors along these blocks right here. Open them up and then break the block. Trap door, trap door. Open them up. Oop, I put that one in wrong. Break the block. Trap door, open it up. Open it up. Break the block. There we go. And then we're going to go around each inside, placing it right off the block and opening them up. And then we're going to take out our blocks and put them around the whole outside, placing in our trap doors, opening them up, and breaking the blocks. Now it's time to build our reactor, so we're going to need our prismarine brick slabs once again, like gray concrete, beacons, light blue stained glass, sea lanterns, gray concrete, smooth stone slabs, and warped buttons. So we're going to count up our three blocks, one, two, three, placing in our prismarine slab, and then make our three by two spacing, and one up here like that. Place in our beacon, placing light gray concrete around the entire thing, filling it up in the back and then come back here and place in one here and one here and then place your prismarine slabs off the side next up we're going to come right off the middle with our three sea lanterns with our blue stained glass right in front of it and our gray concrete on the side of the glass then fill the entire back up with your gray concrete then take out your slabs and place four slabs on each corner then we're going to come up four light gray concrete on each side. Placing slabs on top of those. Place in a gray concrete right in the middle. And another slab on top. Take out your warp buttons. One, two, three. Come to the backhand side. One, two, three. And then one off each side like that. And that's going to be both the reactors done for the Polis map. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the part there. We got pretty much the entire outside done no we got the entire outside done there's a couple more props over there but all this stuff now is just laboratories the spaceship and the vents and then you guys will be 100 completely done with the polis map so if you enjoyed this part make sure to leave a like subscribe and stay tuned for part five of the polis map build all right guys peace